Some people honor Joseph by the litany of St. Joseph, by the 33 days of consecration to St. Joseph. Some of us here in the Gupan, especially the women, honor St. Joseph by wearing green. How can we honor St. Joseph? I have a proposal. Let us honor St. Joseph by our Josephine silence. The silence of St. Joseph is an important gift for the Church in the third millennium. There is so much noise in politics, in advertisements, even in church. Unfortunately, not all of that noise is helpful. Not all of that noise is godly. And not all of that noise leads to growth. It was, I think, Khalil Gibran who said, when we can no longer live in our hearts, then we start to live on our lips. Then we start to live in our tongues. Silence is not just about a discipline of the tongue. Silence is not just about a discipline of the lips. Silence is more a discipline of the ears. In other words, we stop talking so that we can listen more. We stop talking so that we can listen more, not just with our ears, but with something deeper than our ears. It is listening with the heart. From the theological point of view, I think St. Joseph would not qualify as a prophet because a prophet is a spokesman and in the Gospels, St. Joseph hardly spoke. But in my heart of hearts, I believe St. Joseph was a prophet. He was a prophet, spokesman of God, and he spoke on behalf of God by silence. It is true that the prophet must be a spokesman, but before the prophet is a spokesman, he must first be a listener. The problem of our time is we are ready and willing and eager to speak about God, but we have hardly given time God to speak to us. So the first duty of a prophet is to listen. And the first duty of the prophet is to listen with the heart. And the first language of the prophet is not Hebrew or Aramaic or Greek or Latin or English. The first language of a prophet is silence. Because there are mysteries that language will not be able to contain. There are mysteries that language will not be able to proclaim. There are mysteries that the only language that understands is silence. Because silence is the language of God. Who are the false prophets of our time? The false prophets are not those who teach heresies. The false prophets are those who water down the Word of God, who dilute the Word of God, who sugarcoat the Word of God in order to make it more pleasant, more acceptable, more popular for our age. These are the false prophets. The false prophets are not just those who teach error. The false prophets are those who water down the gospel, who remove the power of the gospel to change people. You remember the wedding at Cana when our Lord changed water into wine? Water is a symbol of dead letters. Water is a symbol of dead words. Water is a symbol of words, words, words. And he changed those senseless words, those dead words, those dead letters into sweet, bubbling wine. Sometimes I fear that we are doing the opposite 
of what the Lord did. What I mean is, we are changing wine into water. The gospel is so powerful. The gospel is so sweet. The gospel gives life. The gospel gives joy. And we, here we are. We water it down. We remove its taste. We remove its sweetness. Only because we are afraid of sugar or because we are afraid of alcohol. But the power of the gospel cannot be diluted by the prophets. We need to be prophets. But the great need of our time is not for prophets who speak, but prophets of silence. Maybe in honor of St. Joseph, we have to declare a fast. And it is the fast from words. It is the fast from noise. It is the fast from chatter, from gossip. It is the fast from more storytelling that has no direction, that has no basis. Perhaps it is time for us to echo the words of Moses to Israel. Be quiet. Listen, Israel. Saint Joseph was that. He was a prophet of silence. And let us honor Saint Joseph by being prophets of silence for our time. With the noise around us, with the chatter around us, with the fake news around us, Saint Joseph stands up as a prophet of silence. Saint Joseph teaches us that the best language of the prophet is silence, because silence is the language of God. You want to honor Saint Joseph? Honor him by your silence, because he loved God by his silence.